Welcome to Champ's Corner and Cocktails. Coming to you live. Ah, so tasty. Now, I was watching this documentary. And the documentary is called Icon. Icon is by uh, Angela. You know, Angela from New York, DJ. And basically, Angie Ann's was, it's an icon, it's basically talking about big 26 years ago, life after death, lost one of the greatest music and how great in the spirit and how iconic that CD was. How great and iconic that writer, rapper, and song ready to die was. You know what I'm saying? Biggie had two CDs, died at 23, died at 24. Come on now. Goat. That's goat status. We talking about Biggie 25 years after life after death. You know, yeah, we talking about Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Tupac is probably, to me, is probably one of the most, uh, I guess you could say, influential. You know, he, he, he drive, he's a driving force of a lot of people, you know, as far as rappers, people love pop, people love pop. And regardless of what, you know, regardless of what you say about pop, regardless of what comes out about pop, you know, people love pop. Biggie is the best lyricist, rapper, Probably this side Rock Him. Biggie and Rock Him are right for me. Biggie and Rock Him are right there next to each other. One A, one B. One A, one B. You know, and I'm surprised they didn't do an iconic about Rock Him. But the thing about it is, the reason probably why, as many people, including myself, call Rock Him. The GOAT, Biggie is still the king of New York, regardless of Jay-Z, regardless of Brock Kim, regardless of who, regardless of Scarface, regardless of Wayne, regardless of Drake, regardless of whoever. Biggie is the king of New York. Biggie is the probably the best rapper ever. Now think about it. The distinguish, the, the, the distinguish. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm distinguishing the two between Pop and Biggie. I said influential for Pop. Best rapper. Lyricist, Biggie, that's two different things. That's two different things. Pop a rap, pop a rap, rap the asshole. Pop a rap, he's not Biggie. He's not Biggie. Look at this iconic video and you will understand why I say he's not Biggie. He was a pop, love, big love pop. That's what people don't understand. That's what people people don't understand. Really, don't know really know Biggie. The people who know Biggie, who's close to Biggie, know that Biggie loved pop. He would never hurt pop. Pop. I talk about pop, but Biggie. I mean, today's gender. I got the suitcase up in the century. Room 112, tell him Glocko sent you. Biggie, his rhyme, his flow is unmatched. It's unmatched. Warning. Big Papa, 
It's unmatched. I can juice it. It's unmatched. It's unmatched. It's unmatched. Biggie made it seem like it was effortless. Biggie made it seem like it was effortless. That's Biggie. Biggie is like Marvin Gaye. That's how Biggie is. As far as for rap. That's how bad Biggie is. Like Marvin Gaye. Biggie is rapping, singing on these songs of, on beats that people would never. Downfall. If you put Downfall on right now, name one rapper other than Biggie that can rap on that. Put Downfall on right now. Matter of fact, stop listening to this. Stop looking at this video and put downfall on right now. Name one other rapper that can rap over that downfall beat other than Biggie. Rap it well. No, anybody can rap. But do it well. <laughs> so, I'm just saying this. Biggie, is the greatest rapper ever. I don't care who comes along and says what. I don't care what you think. I hope all give your comments on whatever. You know, give all your comments. Give all your comments. I love them. But regardless of what you say, Biggie is the best rapper ever to me. To me. You know, and probably a 1B to rock him. It goes from there. It goes from there. Biggie. Rest in peace, go. All day long. Next topic, indeed.